Hi, second graders, and welcome back to our Changing Landforms unit. Today, we are going to be focusing on Chapter 3, Lesson 2, which is Investigating Differences in Scale. Okay, so in the last lesson, we looked at a couple of different maps. Geologists use maps to study landforms and the big changes that can happen to them. As geologists, we'll create maps to help us figure out how small pieces of rock eroding from a landform can cause a big change. So today we're going to investigate the following question, which is if erosion moves small pieces of rock, how can it cause a big change? So since we cannot bring a real landform into the classroom or into our homes, um, we're going to use this mountain model to investigate how big changes happen to landforms. And so we're gonna be using something similar. They're using pom-poms in that picture, but we're gonna use cotton balls when we do get to the mountain model part of our activity. So in your packet, you have this worksheet, which is called Mapping the Mountain. So we'll each draw a map of the mountain in our packets. The map will show areas of very, very, very high land, areas of high land, and then areas of a lower land. So the directions for our worksheet, um, first we're going to work on making a key for our mountain map at the bottom of the page, which is located down here where it says map key. Um, we're gonna be using brown to show very high land. We're gonna be using yellow for high land, and then we're gonna be showing using green to show low land. After we color in our key, we're going to look very carefully at the picture of the mountain, and we're gonna visualize what it might look like from above or from a bird's eye view. Then we're gonna think about which parts of the land are very high, which parts of the land are high, and then which parts of the land are low. And then in the box below right here, we're gonna draw a map that shows what the mountain will look like from above. So remember that a map shows the view from above. Again, so it's giving us that bird's eye view. So picture being a bird flying above the mountain that is to the left, our mountain model. Visualize the shape of the mountain from above. So go ahead and just take a second to really look at that picture and visualize yourself flying above it and then thinking about what might it look like from above. You'll also notice that in the picture of the mountain model, there is tape around the edges. So the tape around the mountain shows the area that we will map. The corners of the tape rectangle match up with the corners of the map area on our notebook page. So this tape over here is kind of what we are gonna be using as these parts of our rectangle in our mountain map. So I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and pause the video. And without doing anything on your worksheet yet, I just want you to point to the different parts of the mountain. So I want you to point to a very high part of land. I want you to point to a part of high land, and I want you to point to an area of low land. So go ahead and just pause the video and point to each of those areas on your screen. So if I were looking at this, I would say that areas of very high land would probably be like the very tip top of our mountain. When we're thinking about areas of high land, I'm thinking about this middle section that's definitely raised up still, um, but not quite as tall as the very tip. And then areas of low land, I'm thinking about like the very bottom, that area of purple um, underneath our mountain would be a low area of land. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is you can pause this video and then on your worksheet, you are going to color in the map key the same as this. So we're gonna be using brown to show very high land, yellow to show high land, and then green to show low land. Okay, now that you guys have colored in your map key, you guys are actually going to create a map of the mountain on your page. And remember that we saw some maps um, last lesson and we remember that a map is different from just a photograph, right? So our map is not gonna focus so much on showing the shape of a mountain, but it's gonna focus more on using those colors on our map key to show where the high land is, where the lower land is, where the high, very high parts of land are. So go ahead and pause this video and take a second to work on drawing your map in your worksheet, and then we will come back and talk about our second activity. <laughs> 